He is getting his first look at Jacksonville since he became a Jaguar. The team picked Jalen Ramsey last night in the first round of the NFL draft. Today, he flew to his new hometown where he talked with Channel 4's Vic Michalucci, who's joining us now live from Everbank Field. Vic? And Tom, you can't help but smile. He's a very likable guy, very friendly and charismatic, also confident. He told everyone that he believes he was the top football player in the entire 2016 draft. He says he's going to work very hard to prove it, and he appreciates all the confidence that the Jaguars coaching staff and leadership team has put in him. Now he says it's time to get to work, so he's very excited to be a part of the community here in the River City. He says he's eager to move down here. He's happy to work with these new young teammates really building a great team and building a great defense here in Jacksonville. He is also happy to be reunited with some of his former teammates from FSU. So he says that he's really just ready to get this show on the road. I'm so excited that they did choose me, um, that they had faith in me. And like I said, in the, in the pressure, uh, when I came on my visit here in Jacksonville, I felt the vibe. You know, I, I felt a better vibe than I did anywhere else I visited. So, yeah. Okay. One more thing our viewers want to know. Can you give us a Duval? Duval. You got to love the confidence. Jalen said he thinks he was the best guy in this draft. Do you believe it? <laughs> That's right. You know what? That's what I told him. Come in here and be you. And I love his confidence. And, um, I, you know, I think he's got so much humility, too. He talked about the weaknesses he needs to work on. And, uh, boy, that type of mindset, that type of uh, approach is very welcomed here. Coach Gus Bradley there says he's really just an all-around good guy, a good person on and off the field. He thinks that he's a natural leader and a great addition to the defense here. Now, Jalen says he's heading back home with his parents to Tennessee. He's going to spend about four days with them, get packed up. Then he's going to fly right back here to Jacksonville just in time for practices on Thursday. I asked him where he wants to live. He says he doesn't know yet. I asked him what number he's going to wear. He says there's a number that he's going to fight for, but right now he does not have a number not giving us any details about exactly what he wants maybe it's what he wore in college now we are going to have much more from my interview with him with coach Gus Bradley and with fans coming up all new on the 10 o'clock news for now live downtown at Everbank Field Vic Michalucci Channel 4 the local station